Hey guys, how's it going? In this video we're going to look at two methods of measuring the speed of sound in air, and then we're going to compare the two methods. So let's get started. So the first method is called the clap echo method, and it kind of does what it says on the tin, so it's going to involve some kind of clap and then an echo. So what you would do is you would measure out a set distance from a wall using a trundle wheel, and at the measured distance make a loud noise using the clappers. So you would stand back at a certain distance away from the wall. In this example you've got a cannon, but obviously you wouldn't have a cannon in school. What you could use is clappers or an air horn or you could actually just clap your hands together and make a clapping sound and then that sound would reflect off the wall and come back to this person over here who is standing ready to measure the time. So you would time how long it takes for the sound to reflect off the wall i.e. the echo using a stopwatch and then use speed equals distance divided by time to calculate the speed. And you could do that because you would know your distance from using the trundle wheel and you'd know your time from the stopwatch and then you could calculate your speed. Now an important thing to note is that if you were doing this experiment, if you only measured the distance between the observer and the wall, then you would need to multiply your distance by 2 in the calculation, because remember the sound is travelling both towards the wall and away from the wall, so it's travelling twice that distance. So you could either multiply the distance by 2 there, or you could just get the person to measure the full distance with the trundle wheel. The second method is called the double microphone method, and this again just kind of does what it says, so there's going to be a double microphone involved. So you use a meter stick first of all to set the two microphones one meter apart. So that's shown in this picture down here. So you've got one microphone over here and one microphone over here set one meter apart. At the first microphone over here you would make a loud sharp noise. Now you could use a hammer or some other metal object or you could use a knife or a fork or some kind of cutlery or something like that. But you'll see that both microphones are connected to a timer. And what happens is when that loud sharp noise is made at the first microphone, then that switches on the timer and it times how long it then takes the sound to go from the first microphone all the way to the second microphone, at which point the timer will stop. And the timer then displays the reading for how long it took the sound to travel from the first to the second microphone. That means we then have our distance of one meter and our time on the timer, which means we could then use speed equals distance divided by time to calculate the speed. Now if you were to then compare your two estimates for the speed of sound in air, you would hopefully find that the double microphone method is much more accurate than the clap echo method. As opposed to method one where we relied on a student to measure the time with a stopwatch, so that involves human reaction time, whereas method two doesn't. So method two should produce an answer closer to 340 meters per second. Now in reality you might not get bang on 340 meters per second, but that's okay as long as you were quite close to it. That's all for this video guys, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.